That's right. It is noisy, very noisy, noise of traffic. And you're looking at a highway. Now, usually the regular response would be, so what? And I understand that. But what we're looking at is uh, actually a piece of history. If you think back to 2014 and what was the biggest news story uh, towards the end of summer, and that was the great European-wide onion shortage, which, due to a combination of natural and mysterious circumstances, uh, meant there were just no onions anywhere to be found in Europe. And you'd think, like, onions that we cut and make us cry, you know, we wouldn't miss them. But the lack of onions just turned everybody insane. It just, you know, things really got out of control. Remember, there were fights in supermarkets, fights in markets. People were incredibly uncivil. And nobody could understand how something as simple as onions or the lack of could change society so much. Anyway, um, you remember that um, coming in through Morocco, there was, there was rumor that onions from North Africa were being smuggled in through Spain. And a shipment uh, allegedly appeared heading for the uh, center of Amsterdam. So that's the right to left uh, traffic. And at that juncture, where you see this graffiti over there in the distance, uh, a big truck was hijacked, a big red truck that in Portuguese on the side said not carrying any onions, any onions whatsoever not carrying any onions whatsoever. I must repeat that because that's important, an important facet of this story. So that truck was hijacked by 27 cars, and those cars all made off with uh, normal family cars, but they filled themselves with the onions that had been in the trucks. And apparently, everything would have gone perfectly well, but for the fact that there was one guy who... Uh, the courts call David M. And he only had seven onions. And, I mean, the price of onions was such that at the time seven onions was, you'd earn a lot of money. But he just couldn't take the fact that everyone else had carloads of onions. And so he, well, you know, when the police asked about things, he, he, he talked. And that's how uh, the onions were, well, some of the onions were retrieved. I think they got 30% of the onions back, and the rest of the onions just vanished. So, so again, next time you see a, what seems to be just a regular strip of highway with some noisy traffic, uh, think twice, because you could be passing some historical point, as you now see the great onion hijack of 2014 a memorable memorable event and you're seeing where it happened um, <laughs> sorry let me get serious again um, that was a laugh from nowhere no um, shall we take a moment's silence and think of all those onions how, how terrible they must have felt you know just grabbed out of a lorry and thrown into normal family cars, not even in banks, just thrown in there by the bucket. Terrible, terrible experience for the onions. So, um, yeah, that's where the onions were. Um, I'm going to give you a bit of a, a twirl around the neighborhood. I mean, it's not fair just to see the scene of the crime. Um, I'm going to show you, and you will be blasted by the sun, but there's a windmill. See, there's a windmill over there. And when we swing back this way, and beware, there may be a blast of wind because I'm about to face the wind. When we swing back this way, you see, you see, uh, well, you first you see trees, but now in the distance, you see Amsterdam, the center of Amsterdam. And that's where those onions were headed before being brutally and terribly kidnapped at this um, point over there, right there, in the middle of your screen, that's where onions were kidnapped. Terrible, terrible. <sighs> I'm now quite emotional, so I'm going to sign off and say, see you next time.